Hey guys, this is Sansaka here, your host for today's Tech Boys video. And today, I'm gonna show you how you can change the original boot screen in Windows with the one you yourself create. That is customizing the Windows boot screen. It doesn't matter which Windows version you use, either XP, Vista, or 7, all three of them will work. Minded, the previous versions won't work. I know, you can use some tweaks and registry editing and else and else and else to change the boot screen but I'm gonna use a software to be more on the safer side and protect your computer from the tweaks and other things that can cause harm to it so I'm using TuneUp Utilities as a software and interface to change the boot screen and uh, you can go to our website at techboys.com and go to the downloads and resources section to uh, download Tune up Utilities 2012 professional version. Now, uh, by the time you will be watching this video, it will be up here because I haven't put it right now. Or if you don't want to uh, download the professional version, the crack version, you can go to tune-up.com and you can go to the download section that is tune-up.com forward slash download. And uh, there you can download the 15 days evaluation version for TuneUp Utilities 2012. Alright, so after you've downloaded and installed TuneUp Utilities, okay, here's the start screen of TuneUp Utilities 2012, the version I'm using. The first tab is Status and Recommendations and the last tab is Customize Windows. That's the tab. Now, here you can see Change Windows Appearance in the right side and you can click the Personalize the Appearance of Windows. You can also use the boot screen shortcut here, but I'm going to just go with this. And I'm going to go to the left, at system startup, I'm going to use boot screen. And here's the default screen of Windows XP, as you can see up here. And that's the standard one. Now, we're going to create one ourselves. Let us create a new one. So, we're going to create a new screen that is a customized screen. So, I'm going to click on create new. And, uh, yeah, so here's the dialog box I have. Now you can select an image from the one you have on your computer, or you can use, a, or you can capture pictures from camera or scanner attached to your computer at that point of time, and you can even find images with Google. So I'm gonna go and open an image. That's a better way to do things. I'm gonna choose this one and click on open. Now, here's a note it shows up here that uh, Windows XP will always fill this box with the background color selected at the left. You can have to install or suggest a matching box color automatically to hide this rotating box. Now I'm going to click on suggest background color. And yeah, that's it. Beautiful. Alright, now, here in the customize of each appearance, stretch to fill screen. I'm already chosen that. You can even choose stretch with margins and center. But I'm not going to do that because I don't want that. You can even choose bars at top and bottom, and that is at sides and everywhere also. But I'm keeping to none. The background color has already been decided as, as suggested by the tune up installer. Then the customize the progress bar uh, section here. The position, uh, I would like to keep it there only because I don't want to fiddle with it uh, any much. So I'm going to keep that there. I can change the foreground color of the progress bar. I don't want to, but I, just to show you that how you can do that, uh, I'm going to show you this. Yeah, that's very bad. Bad of me. Yeah, sorry. Cheeky. <laughs> All right. Now, after you've done that, I've selected, and you've fiddled with a lot of things up here. You can just go and save boot screen and give it a unique name. TBC, I'm gonna do it and return key. And there you go, there's a screen. Now just right click and click on install. There you go, it's active now. It's active now as it as the tick shows up here, the check, whatever that you call it. And uh, just to make one thing sure that whatever we create is uh, actually final because whatever you create, uh, whatever boot screen you create, you cannot edit it later on. 
So uh, after you install this, this is it. Uh, you can just restart and check it out. It will work. Surely it will work. Okay. So uh, thanks for watching this video, guys and uh, girls. <laughs> yeah, uh, people say that you are biased. You always say, "Hey, guys, uh, thanks, guys," and you even change your name to uh, Tech Boys. So um, that's, that's 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 for girls. So okay. See you next time, tech boys and tech girls. Just follow us on twitter.com for slash sunscarakadiara and subscribe to us on youtube.com for slash tech boys. Like our fan page on facebook.com for slash tech boys. Visit us on techboys.com and for more inquiries and information, just go to just mail us at support at the way techboys.com. Thanks for watching. This was it for this tutorial. See you next time. Live tech.